on Mama's feet when we're dancing. <laughs> All right, I admit Prince Rupert is... Well, he's a bit awkward, dear. That's putting it mildly. <laughs> but speaking of princes, my pretty daughter, it really is time you thought about getting married. Oh, Mother! Now, Rosella, you're nearly 20 years old. Most of your friends are already married. Mother, I'm not ready. There are so many things I haven't done yet. I want to have fun. But, Rosella, I happen to know that Prince Throckmorton of Montecor is just mad about you. Prince Throckmorton? Mother, he's so boring. He's not boring, Rosella. He's reliable. And he's so handsome. He has the most beautiful smile, don't you think? And he's so intelligent. How many young men do you know whose hobby is conjugating Latin verbs? And you know, you should consider yourself lucky. Every princess in the known world is just dying to marry Prince Throckmorton. You really must strike while the iron is hot, Rosella. That's why I've... Well, I've invited the prince to... Rosella! water. Salt crystals. How odd.
एक्सक्यूज मी सर वट डू यू वॉन्ट ऑफ मी आई आई एम बैलनी सब डेवेंट्री गुड सर I wonder if you might tell me where I am. You are far away from life and love and hope. You are surrounded by dust. And it is dust you shall become. You are so pale, traveler. Are you I lost my life in this cursed desert. Now I must wander, tormented by everlasting burning thirst. Is there anything I can do? Leave this place if you can. The portal through the mountains, the mouth of the great stone head was closed by an evil enchantress. Legend says that it can be opened. But I know not how. Go now. Sir. Go. This thirst drives me mad and I know not what it will make me do. What do you want? Please help me, sir. You see I've lost my daughter and I cannot help you, lady. I could not even help myself. This comb belongs to my daughter. She's a lovely girl with long blonde hair. Have you seen her? I have not, madam. I have seen no living persons except yourself. Can I get rid of that creature? Rare curiosities. Ricardo Eduardo Rodriguez, Rue Rat, proprietor. Can that be? I cannot see. I am Valenice of Daventry, good sir. Is there a problem with your eyes? The awful rotten jackalope swiped my glasses. I can't. 
hope. Normally I'd trade with you, but since I'm blind, my day's through. Leave me be, I cannot see. <laughs> of all the rude, inconsiderate. <laughs> Isn't that cute? this It looks like something is supposed to fit in there. Ouch! Blast! I can't reach it! This sand is damp. Oh, my. Oh, what a beauty!
What do you want? Here, this is for you. You have brought me water? My debt to you is eternal, lady. Bring me salt water. What manner of heartless joke is this? I'm sorry, sir. I didn't know the water was bad. Leave me, woman. Do not give me false hope. It looks like he is expecting something. Salty. I wish to give this to you, traveler. Is it truly sweet water, lady? Could it really be? <sighs> I thought my thirst would torture me forever. How can I thank you? Can you help me escape this desert? I do not know how to open the portal. But there is something I can do. Follow me.
Is... Is that... Yes. That is all that remains of Colin Farwalker. The great adventurer. The... Oh, I I'm so sorry. Don't be. Your gift of water has given me peace. We must hurry. I haven't much time left on this earthly plane. I wish to give you something. I thank you, good sir. May it help you in your journeys, my lady. Farewell. Oh dear, the horn is clogged with sand. <sighs> oh. Oh. Being long-winded comes in handy sometimes. strange. The gourd split in the sun. It looks like there's a loose seed in there. Here it comes, you little fiend. Ha <laughs> 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 ha! I got you, didn't I? This is all I have to say. Go away! Go away! Here you are. Oh joy! Oh joy! Oh happy me! I can see! I can see! Thanks to you, I'm not afraid. Now I'm free to deal and trade. No time to chat. The day is fading. Come, Valenice, let's do some trading. The lovely lady shows me gold. How would you like some fine blue mold? No, thank you. I don't want to trade this. You see, it belongs to my daughter. Have you seen her? Hmm, a princess fair with golden hair? Yes, have you seen my Rosella? Seen her, lady? Sadly, no, but I hear tales from winds that blow from far away. 
from the West. My sources are the very best. They tell me that the brave troll king has lost his heart and given a ring to a lovely princess he plans to wed. A foreign princess, it is said. A foreign princess? Well, that could be her. Do you know anything more? To find out more, you'll have to go beyond the woods and far below. Pretty piece of silky cloth. Here, I'll go get my best dead moth. Don't bother, please. Why, that's a simply smashing stick. How about a fat deer tick? Uh, uh, I mean, no thank you. You want to offer me a flag? How about a paper bag? Oh no, really, that's fine. What a skillful work of clay. I'll trade you a bale of mouldy hay. No, thank you. A juicy, sticky, spiky fruit. Uh, would you like a chewed on boot? Oh, no, 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 thank you. Mmm, a tasty grain of salt. Uh, will you take a chocolate malt? Tempting, but no thank you. I'm trying to watch my figure. What a charming woven basket. Let me find my silk-lined casket. No, that's all right. A mighty horn of tarnished brass. Uh, would you take a box of broken glass? Ah, uh, I think not. Oh my goodness! Magic dust! Would you take an old bread crust? I don't think so. What a lovely wrinkled seed. For that, I'll offer this blue bead. That sounds like a good deal. it could open further. That looks like it's attached to the altar.
Would you like to trade with me? You won't believe what you will see. Yuck! Fur from that horrid beast. I don't want it in the least. Oh my! A stunning turquoise shape. Will you accept a shriveled grape? Oh, I don't think so. My lovely turquoise bead. Let me get a thorny weed. I think I'll keep the bead. Looks like some kind of offering bowl. won't go in. I wonder if I have to put them together first.
Welcome, most beautiful of princesses! <gasps> hmm? <gasps> who... Who are you, sir? I, uh, I am King Otar Fenris III, ruler of the Volcanics Underground, and you are the Princess Rosella, yes? I am, Your Majesty. How do you know me? Where am I? I saw a beautiful castle before. Where could I find it, please? Castle? Oh, that. It's a dull place. You wouldn't like it. Oh my, I wasn't expecting this. Your Majesty, what weren't you expecting? What's going on? I wasn't expecting you to be so lovely, my lady. You will be the most radiant bride in all the world. Bride? See here, King Otar, I'm, I'm, I'm very honored and all, but I can't marry you. I, I don't even know you. Now, <clears throat> if you'll excuse me, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a... A troll, dear lady. A troll? Oh! Please don't be sad, princess. You make a lovely troll. A simply stunning troll. I'm a troll? How can I be a troll? I'm not a troll, am I? Come along, princess. Let me escort you to your chamber. Perhaps you'll feel better if you... rest. A troll? Troll, huh? A troll? I can't believe I'm a troll! And not just any troll. Oh no, I'm engaged to the Troll King! How lucky can a girl get? That's enough to give our castle decorator a case of the vapors. Who are you, Missy? You're no real troll. I can see right through you. What do you want with King Otar, you human minx? I, I don't want anything. I was just looking into this pool, and, and then I saw this... Baloney, little girl! You're trying to steal the throne of the underground! Usurper! Usurper! <laughs> Why, you're no usurper! You poor little thing! Don't cry! I didn't mean to be cross. It's just that King Otar has been so strange lately and that a horrible woman has been snooping around. I'm not crying. Of course you're not, dear. Now you listen to me. I can help you turn back into a human. You can? Are you an enchantress? Well, not exactly. I'm Matilda, and I used to be King Otar's nursemaid when he was just a wee troll. Anyway, I can give you a list of ingredients for a magic potion that will turn you back into a human just like that. But you have to do something for me. Anything! Up above this kingdom is a dark land called Ooga Booga. Our kingdoms were never crazy about each other. But we had a civil relationship. Now, because of her, the Ooga Boogaites attack any troll that shows a face above ground. 
Missy, once you're human, you will go above and investigate. I have a gut feeling that our kingdom is in terrible trouble. Of course I will, Matilda. Wonderful! Now listen, girl, bring me some baked beetles, a crystal dragon scale, water of emeralds, a silver spoon, and a gold bowl. Got it? Got it! Stupid old toy rat! This is not what I wanted! I wanted a battle axe! Bike! Time for lunch! Don't forget your new toy! Dumb, stupid rat! <laughs> Matilda, what was that list of ingredients again? Baked beetles, a crystal dragon scale, a gold bowl, water of emerald, and a silver spoon. Got it? Yes, ma'am. You're wasting my time, little girl. Soup. Mr. Troll, may I talk to you? Excuse me, sir? Revolting beast! Jeez, <laughs> oh God! You nearly got yourself fried. Oh, I'm not scared of that nasty wench. I could break her in half like a carrot. Well, that's good, cause she's right behind you. <laughs> that was not funny, Blog Tar. Pardon me, sirs, but who was that tall, imposing woman? Uh, her name is Malicia, and uh, to tell you the truth, lady, uh, no one really knows who she is. I know who she is. She's a fiend, that's who. Shut your mouth, Hogarth. You don't know nothing. Some trolls say Malicia is an evil fairy cast out of Etheria up there in the clouds. All I know is, she never used to hang around here, and now she does all the time. We'd like to tell you more, pretty lady, but we better not. Is there anything more you could tell me about Malicia? Uh, uh no, lady, uh, sorry. 
No, no way. All right then, just a touch of frog lips, a dash of mouse noses, a sprinkling of spider legs. <laughs> You are so wonderful. You are the most beautiful stew in the world. All you need is a juicy bat or a tender rat. Mm. Ooh. Oh, I I'm sorry. I didn't mean any. Out, out. Out of my kitchen, you dreadful peasant! Don't worry, my little stew. You're safe from that dreadful girl. Her peasant lips will never touch you. That doesn't look too stable. Come no further! Good day, sir. I am... Bruh! I don't care who you are! This is my bridge, and I will only let you cross it uh, if you give me a thousand pieces of lead and a rat on a stick. Yeah, right. I... Princess Rosella of Daventry order you to let me pass. And I, Brutus Bone Crusher, says no. Well, that got me nowhere. That guy just won't listen to reason. I don't suppose you take this as a toll? No. Might work if it weren't for that darn spike. I'll just make sure that shield doesn't go anywhere. There. Oh. 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 
I don't think there are that many jewels in all of Daventry. Ah, uh, are you a dragon? I am. Do not fear me, little troll. You are the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my whole life. Thank you. You are most kind. Once that would have made me smile. Now I know I will never be happy again. What has made you so sad? I have lost my will to live. I have lost my spark. What did you mean when you said you'd lost your will to live? Why? I meant just what I said. I have lost my spark. My world has grown cold. Leave me to my sorrow, little troll. <sighs> Leave me be, little creature. Pardon me, good dragon, but... Nothing in the world holds any interest for me now, troll. Go away. Excuse me, Mr. Cook? Out, out, out of my kitchen, you dreadful peasant! No, Winnie. I've had so much trouble sleeping lately. Blotar snores like a dragon with heartburn. Well, let me tell you, Eglatine. I have the same problem with Hogarth. I just use wet sulfur. I put a lump of wet sulfur in the fireplace at night and it puts me right out. Why I sleep so soundly, Hogarth sometimes has to wake me with a flower under the nose. <laughs> A flower! Eee! You must have been sleeping like a log if you needed a nasty, smelly flower to wake you up. Well, well, well. You learn something new every day. Excuse me, good ladies, but, but would you happen to know anything about Malisha? Oh! Look, 
Winnie, it's the king's new bride to be! Isn't she the cutest little thing? Oh my dear, you're the luckiest troll in the world! Oh, it's going to be the most beautiful wedding! <laughs> and won't you be the most beautiful bride? Oh, I always cry at weddings. Oh, 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 Excuse me, ladies? Oh, weddings always make me cry. <laughs> Oh, 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 good lord. Oh, 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 never mind. Yeah. That's some nasty water. Wow, you could melt rocks in there. Pardon me, sir, but I was wondering... Well, wonder no longer, sweet potato. I am the troll of your dreams. Uh, now see here, I'm I'm uh, I'm engaged to the king. That's right, the king. Oh well, I respect King Ota. You you can bet on that. Uh, I'm sorry, my little rutabaga, but our love is not to be. You let me know if he dumps you, okay? Ugh. <clears throat> Excuse me. I didn't mean to startle you, sir. I am Rosella of Daventry. Oh, that's all right. I don't mind being interrupted by someone as charming as yourself. <laughs> What can I do for you? Why, you're the most polite troll I've ever met. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to... Don't apologize, my dear. I quite understand. I can't tolerate the company of most other trolls myself. Poppy Goldsworth, Master Jeweler, at your service. You don't like other trolls? You must be so lonely, Oppy. Oh, I am, Rosella. To tell you the truth, I'd do anything to leave this place. I'd love to go out and make my way in the world. Maybe I'd even become the court jeweler of Etheria. Why don't you? I don't have the money. All I have to my name is this old chipped hammer and chisel. Pardon me, my dear, but I really must finish this project. I should let the poor guy work. He's so jumpy. It smells like rotten eggs in here. Ugh! What's this? Green water? where that rotten egg smell is coming from. Hmm, maybe it's sulfur. Wow! What 
an updraft. 